Now we will create a new Flutter project. Now we have a brand new application. We are going to start from scratch. We are going to delete the theme and all of this. Then we are going to create our main folders. In the left folder, the first folder we are going to create is the screen folder. After that, we are going to create a widget folder. By the way, if you can't create a new directory and say it's to create a package, you can fix it by going to File, Project Structure, Module, and press here on the left folder and click here, then OK. Now, as you see, you can create a directory, widget. I think this is enough for now. In screen folders, we are going to create the main shopping screen. And let's create a class, stateless class, and import material package. And this will be our starting point right now. The main shopping screen is going to be our main screen in the application. Our products will be listed there. In our case, we are going to use a grid view. But if we are going to use a grid view to show our products, how can we actually define the product? For that, we have to create something called data model. In any application that dealing with data, the first thing that we have to think about is how we going to show the data, how our data will be represented. So we will create a new folder called model. In model folder, we are going to create start file called product. I really want this tutorial to be simple, so I am going to simplify it as much as I can. Data model is a description for your data that you are going to share. How would you like to show your data? So, we are going to create a class that describes our product. Let's create a class called product. The first thing that describes our product is the title of the product. So, let's create a string title. And of course, title is going to be final because not going to change. The second thing that describe our product is description and maybe we need an image. I think we have to give an ID for the product and ID is going to be the first on the top and maybe also we are going to give it a price and the price is a double. In our app, we will need something described if that product is a favorite or not. So we need a volume value. It's not final because we are going to change it is favorite. This text lines is describing our product and this is our product model. Of course we are going to need a constructor, ID is required and also the title, description and image of price, all this is required. His favorite is not required and actually I'm going to give it a default value false. And that's it for now. We created the product model that describe our product and then we are going to create a grid and use this product model in our grid. In this video, I want you to know one thing that will make your life is easier when you want to create an app that depending on some kind of data. In this course, we are talking about state management. State is the data. So how can we manage our data? So the first thing you have to do is build data model, which in our case is a product, a class that describe how our product is looks like. Our product has an ID, has a title, has a description, has an image, has a price and also have a boolean value is favorite or not and also you're gonna to create a widget called a product and you will gonna to use an object from this class in our case we are gonna to use a product and store it in a variable give it a name now we will construct a product and give it an id title description an image and a price this is presenting an object, real product. So in your product custom widget that we will create later, we are going to use this data. We can use this ID to put it in a text widget that represent an ID. This is how we are going to deal with our product model.